Now, if an equation in two variables, x and y, yields precisely one value of y for each value of x, we say that y is a function of x. And the notation that we are going to use for a function is y equal to f of x. So this indicates that the variable y is a function of x. And we read this notation as f of x. Take note, we're not multiplying this two, but this is the notation for function, f of x. The value of y depends on the value you input to x. To graph functions, we use the same principle or the same technique that we use when graphing equations in two variables. All we need to do is this f of x here, we would think of this as our y. So the f of x will be the value of your y coordinate. So for instance here, if we select integers from negative 2 to 2 inclusive, so we the integers are negative 2, 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now these are the x values, and then we're going to compute f of x by plugging in these values to the expression. So you have 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4. Now the corresponding ordered pair is negative 2, 4. Now if I use x equals negative 1, if I plug it into the expression, I have 2 times negative 1, and that is equal to negative 2. The ordered pair form is negative 1, negative 2. Now if I have 0, if x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, so I have 0, 0. If x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, so the ordered pair is 1, 2. If x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, so 2, 4 is the ordered pair. Similarly, if I use this definition of the function g of x, so if g of x is defined to be 2x plus 4, and I use these values of x here and plug it in to the expression, so for instance, I have negative 2, 2, times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 4 is 0. So the corresponding order pair is negative 2, 0. So if x is equal to negative 1, we have 2 times negative 1, which is equal to negative 2, plus 4 is positive 2. So the corresponding ordered pair is negative 1, 2. And if x is 0, so 2 times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. So we have 0, 4. If x is 1, we have 2 times 1, 2 times 1, plus 4 is 6. And lastly, if x is 2, g of 2, which is 2 times 2 plus 4, is equal to 8. So this is the ordered pair formed. The next we are going to plot the five points for each of the functions and then you connect them. If you plot all the points for g of x, you plot those five points that you got and connect them, this is how the graph of g of x would look like. And also for f of x, plotting all the points and connect them together, this is how the graph of the function would look like. You notice the relationship between these two graphs. The two graphs are actually parallel to each other. g of x to x plus 4 is just a vertical translation of this graph here. Notice that this point here, if I'm going to translate this four units up, it would be this point here. Now, like this point here, four units up, one, two, three, four, would be this point here. And also this point here, 1, 2, 3, 4, is 4 units up. So this maroon line, or the g of x, the graph of g of x, this is just a vertical translation of the graph of f of x. Now we have this vertical line test for function. To test whether the graph that is given is a graph of a function or not, all you need to do is do this vertical line test. So this one is very simple. You draw a vertical line anywhere on the graph. If the, the vertical line just intersect the graph in just one point, 
then that graph is a graph of a function. If not, if it intersects the graph at more than one point, then that graph is a graph of not a function. So to illustrate this, we are going to look at the examples here. Now we are going to use the vertical line test to identify graphs in which y is a function of x. For letter A here, if I draw a vertical line here, this touches the graph at two points. If you could just find one particular instance wherein you make a vertical line and it touches the graph at two points, then that graph is not a function. Now for letter B, if I'm going to draw a vertical line on the graph, it would just the, touch the graph at exactly one point. So therefore, this one is a graph of a function. For letter C, this is also a graph of a function because any vertical line would only touch the curve at exactly one point. So this is a function. Now, for letter D, this one is an example of not a function because if I draw this vertical line here, it touches the curve at two points. So this is not a function.